Hello, hello, Impala LFX13, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly improve um, for free any modern air um, intake system. All, almost, I would say, 99% of all modern vehicles will have a carbon filter inside the airbox. Now, in this case, I have a 2020 RAV4 Toyota. But I did the same thing on a 17 Ford Fusion. And I'm sure, again, 99% of all the cars will have that. So what you need to do is remove the top um, plate for the, the air box. So in this case, you have the air mass sensor. There's a clip. So you want to clip here. There's a clip here. Clip. And another one here. Clip. Set that aside. And obviously the tabs. There's one here and one here and this is just a normal Phillips I already went out to unscrew it a bit and then we'll be able to yank it out brand new so it's tight I'm just gonna use both my hands there we go so and the remaining of the intake you see there's the intake two the ETC, the electronic troll body, the bottom intake with the OEM filter, and you have the silent tube, and the inlet is in front if you go look. Now, I'm going to flip this over. It's actually the first time I'm going to pull this out, and here we go. So that's the carbon filter. Now, on, I, I read a lot of um, on computer fluid dynamics studies regarding these, and this is only good, oh, by the way, uh, if you have a Toyota with a 2.5, I strongly recommend download the uh, basically uh, the entire information about the uh, that engine. But if we look here, that carbon filter that's this part here, all it does is to trap hydrocarbon particles from the intake duct during parking so it doesn't do anything good while you're driving and going back to my study uh, that I, I read a lot those who test on some cars it will restrict restrict the intake flow by 0.2 percent and on some other cars two percent and by looking at this uh, I would say this thing is quite restrictive for the airflow the natural airflow there's a only way to to do this is to pop these things out you know, like literally have to break it and once you're done make sure you don't leave any little plastic inside so that's a the only free way you could um, improve your intake uh, the airflow and remove that natural disturbance it doesn't do anything with sound nothing like that and obviously uh, for a lot of pennies you you can grab a uh, an improved uh, filter compared to a stock filter and i noticed this car i think also has uh, here we go in in the intake tube has also a carbon type filter in it and if i remove this you'll see the bottom it's hard to see because it's very dark but it's just basically an empty box where the the cold air gets in through the inlet so for those who just wants to uh, improve like this, I don't want to improve really the horsepower. I want to improve the fuel efficiency. And by removing this, I'll remove the flow disturbance, which will give me technically on paper better fuel economy. And that's the whole point of this car is to get the best fuel economy I can get. Take care and I hope this was useful for all of you. Bye.